Hi guys, this is Matt from Mind United and this is another transfer gossip video. With the January window in full swing, as always with every window, we're being linked with a host, whole host of centre forwards. With the uh, circumstance as it is with an out of itch, obviously it's even more prominent than usual. And we just can have a quick look at a couple of centre forwards we're being linked with. The first guy is Musa Moguera, who plays for FC Porto. He's a Mali international. He's 26, 27 years old. He scored 15 goals in 25 games for Porto this year, including five goals in the Champions League. So he's got quality. He's proven it at a high level. Obviously not in England, but he's a strong guy. He's six foot one, so he's a little bit shorter than Atvich, but he's got a lot of strength, a lot of upper body strength. He's good at holding the ball up. He's also quick and good at finishing, so he can run in the channels and he's a good finisher. You know, he's built like an Anatovic. Obviously, he's not done it in the Premier League and he's a little bit shorter, but he could be a realistic option. I say he's going to be 25 to 30 million, which of the two guys we've been linked with today is a bit cheaper. The other guy we've been linked with is Memphis Depay, who, will, who you should all remember from his time at Manchester United, where it didn't really work out. But he left, he went back to France. And he's really revived his career there now. He's a prominent role playing. He plays anywhere across the front line now, wingers or centre forward. He's a bit shorter, he's 5'9", so he wouldn't have the height advantage that Natovic or necessarily Marguerite would have. But he's exceedingly quick. He's hard to get off the ball. He's an excellent dribbler. He's got a great long shot and finish, and he's a set-piece taker. So that would bring in another option, which Natovic didn't have. However, having said that, He's going to be expensive. I mean, if you buy, if you sell an Avic for anywhere from 40, 50 million, you'd probably lay out most of that buying the pie. So is it one worth going for? Who knows? He's a, he's a quality player. He would improve the team. Him, Anderson, whoever you want on the right, linking all between three of them, you could even interchange them. It would give us a really promising prospect going forward. Another one quickly, whether it's a rumour or whether it's true or not, there's a rumour going around that the deal for Obiang to Fiorentina has been cancelled by West Ham. Apparently Pellegrini's worried that we can't bring in someone of the quality of Obiang for the price we're selling for, at least not in January, so in which case he wants to hold off the sale. For me that makes sense, although it does raise into question whether we've been outpriced with Musa for Shelby yet again. Because I believe the idea was we're supposed to sell for, uh, Obiang to Fiorentino and use that money to buy Shelby, but if we're cancelling the Obiang sale, I'm guessing Shelby's not going through again. So, what do you think of those ones, guys? I mean, Marguerite sounds promising, but it's an unknown for coming from Portugal. It doesn't always work out. Memphis Depay is doing really well, but again, he didn't work out at Man United. Could he revive his career with us? And what's, what do you think of Obiang and Shelby? As always, thanks for with us. Like and subscribe. Come on your irons.